and welcome to your gold market update and charts of interest for today friday the 18th of november i'm sure you're all looking forward to the weekend but before we get there let's have a look at what's happening in markets now overnight the u.s equity markets are very choppy and although they ended in slightly negative territory it recovered most of the early losses that we saw subsequent to weaker than expected manufacturing data and a little bit of weakness in jobs data as well we're still hearing some tough narrative coming from some of the fed member speeches that have happened during the week and that certainly kept a cap on any market move to the upside some interesting stuff going on in the uk and they have released a tough budget with a complete reverse in taxation strategy now raising taxes rather than lowering them as they were suggesting three months ago so the FTSE and and gb pound crosses are responding accordingly u.s futures ending in neutral in asia uh, but Asian indices are higher despite that weaker US lead. ASX is up around about 2% at this stage, with only very small gains across most sectors. European equity market futures are suggesting a higher open this afternoon. We've seen the US dollar fairly flat for the majority of the week. It's fell to rise again despite that equity weakness, but it is holding support at three-month lows despite multiple tests. We did see some Japanese yen weakness early, uh, but that seems to have just settled down for right now. Gold has retraced to its 200 EMA after a strong early part of the week. And oil and copper, both of whom did well at the end of last week, have pulled back to support levels. The China COVID situation is concerning. There is the possibility of further lockdowns. It is reported and this may threaten demand, hence the pullback. Quite surprisingly, the VIX has dropped again despite the equity weakness. Uh, markets appear to be quite calm about where things are now uh, but we will see what happens next week of course when we get some new information coming into the market bitcoin looks uncertain still trading around 16600 as it has done over the last three days looking quite triangular technically and one possibly to stay clear of for right now in terms of data we've had some fairly hot cpi numbers coming out of japan earlier on in the session today Later on, we've got UK retail sales. The ECB chairman, Christine Lagarde, speaking and US housing data all due out later on throughout the day. A couple of charts of interest that caught our eye today. Uh, we're going to start with the, the US yen. If we look on the daily chart, we have support in place around about 138.77, which we tested uh, throughout most of this week. We have had a push up last night against the yen with that yen weakness that we've already reported a little bit shy today but this 140.79 level looks very interesting technically if we look at an hourly chart you can see that it's traded within this level over the last few days and the question remains are we going to breach this 140.80 to the upside if we do there's possibly 200 pips in this as an up move in the medium term as we said, the ASX is slightly up. One of the outperformers today is Southern Cross Media Group, ticket code SXL. Uh, you can see there a very nice move higher through this $1 key level uh, that essentially we've tested three times over the last two months. Uh, and now we look as though there's some buying pressure coming in. Volume isn't particularly high at this stage in the day, but it'd be worthwhile checking where this sits towards the back end of the session. But obviously to the upside, uh, there's plenty there to be had even if we take a more conservative approach and move this long-term price target down to around about this 113 114 level that's still a significant return of around about nine percent should that actually happen so one to keep an eye on on this friday as an end of the week opportunity potentially trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now